So change the logarithmic statement to an equivalent statement involving an exponent. So remember, this is a natural logarithm. So we should pick up on that. If I have y equals the natural log of x, then I can write this as um, y equals log. So the log of x base c. So a natural logarithm is actually a base c logarithm. So these are equivalent. This is just a short version of it. And also on your calculator, you do have this LN button over here on your calculator. And also that you also see this little E. And also how those are inverse operations. They're going to be on the same key. What I'm saying that notice how adding and subtracting are next to each other, multiplying and dividing are next to each other. Notice that square and square root are actually on the same key as we kind of pick up on some patterns on the calculator. So if I want to put this logarithm up here in this form, I'd rather write it as um, x equals the natural log of 10. And then we have x equals, instead of using this ln, I could say log of 10 base e. So notice that the base is actually e. The, this x is actually the exponent. So again, notice how this is our base, and this over here is actually the exponent. So they kind of go on one side of the equation, which then just leaves me the 10 on their side of the equation. So as I put this all together, I would have e to the x is equal to then 10. That's what that would look like as a exponential form. So any logarithmic form equation can be changed into an exponential form equation. So these mean the same thing. They're just written in a different form. So again, they are equivalent. There's that word equivalent statement. So these are interchangeable. So notice how again, the base is E. This is the exponent. They go together and then the 10. So that looks good.